Hey Scorps, welcome back. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Sasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. Hope you guys are doing amazing. All right, Scorps, so we're going to get into this channel message reading. I'm not sure what's going to come out. Of course, take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe. Make sure that you guys have your notification bell on so you'll know when I go live, post readings, and so forth, okay? All right, spirit, angels, and guides, show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please return any dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, blockages, monitor, and spirits. Offline or online, away from my home, channel, sacred space, and family. Return the energy back to sender. Tenfold, so it be. Amen, amen. All right, so we have empathy. So this talks about the answers will come. Revelation, discovery, vision, realization, inspiration. Hmm, this is giving me like the Ace of Swords vibe. Hmm. There is some type of insight that you are about to receive. Whatever answers, uh, Scorpio, that you've been seeking. They're going to come to you at the right time. You may get this in a vision, in your dreams, some type of wake-up call. You may even get a hint from the universe. Some type of aha moment that you're about to receive. Hmm. Tell me more about empathy. Thank you. And we have strike. Okay. Expect to see major progress. Hmm. Come on. Let me twist my bracelet bracelet here. So strike. Expect to see major progress. Hmm. I'm hearing like bullseye. Like something's going to hit you out of nowhere. And like I said, something you've been discovering. You may get some type of insight. Something with your intuition that you're going to find out. Something's going to come actually in your face. You're going to realize what you was thinking or what was shown to you from the universe. It was accurate or what you were feeling was accurate. It's almost like giving you the answers to what you've been, like I said, looking for or expecting or waiting for. Something is about to change here. Hmm. Some type of victory that you're about to receive. Tell me more about empathy. Something's going to come exactly on target. Thank you. All right, so we have stop. This love is not for you. Move on, toxic, incompatible. So you're about to get some type of aha moment when it comes to a person, a relationship. It's like you're going to realize, okay, you know, the universe has been trying to tell me or they're giving me the signs that I need to know that this particular relationship is not for my highest good. I need to walk away. Hmm. Oh, wow. Look at there. It's over. Oh, no second chances. The relationship is over. Sometimes there is no next time. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's like something's going to hit you very soon. If you've been trying to figure out, is this man for me? You know, should I date this person? Should I get married to this person? Should I reconcile this individual? The answer is going to come to you. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So let's get some clarity. Let's get some clarity. Let's see. I think I'm going to use... My Adalis Tarot. <clears throat> All right, Spirit, tell me more about Epiphany. Actually, you know what? No, let me not use this deck. Let's use this one. What is Epiphany? Show me what I need to see for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I 
was going to use that bag, but something told me to change my mind. <laughs> oh, wow. So some, some type of hint you're going to receive is, is downloads, is messages. So make sure that your crown chakra is on point. You know, you're doing the meditations. You're paying attention to your intuition. You're keeping your crown chakra open. So any answer, even if it's not a relationship with life, with people, with anything, you can get the answers that you're seeking. What is Epiphany? Tell me more about for Scorpio. All right. Oh, so the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So it's like you're about to get an aha moment in regards to a person, possibly a fire sign that, for example, I'm hearing something about if you've been suspecting someone has been cheating, you're about to get the answers that you've been looking for. Like, it's going to come to you at the right time. Sneaky, someone lying to you, being deceptive. Yeah, and that's when the Spirit's going to put you in a position where, you know, you cut them off. You set some boundaries with the Queen of Swords. Get them out of your house. Yep, I cannot make this up. You're going to get some, some answers here, some clarity, some truth. But it's going to come from the divine in regards to a relationship, family, particular person that may live with you or you have some type of connection to or have a foundation with. And that's when you need to be on guard to protect your household, your space, all of the above. Mm. Wow. You're about to get some answers about someone. Tell me about Stripe. Clarify strike. It's you know what I'm it's like it's gonna come at the right time. It, everything's gonna hit you at the right time. So if you don't have concrete proof, it's gonna show itself. It's gonna come. Yeah. All right, so five of wands. There may even be an argument or a fight about it. Tell me more. Strike. Yeah, and from there, you know, with the judgment card, Scorpio, Sagittarius, from that point, you make your decision on how you want to move forward. You make your, your judgeable call. You allow someone to be accountable for their actions. Yeah. Putting you in competition or I'm hearing like a bullseye. I knew it. And like I said, a fight may break out or some type of argument is going to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so Queen of Wands, Six of Swords. So I feel like you are this Queen of Wands. Leo energy, male or female. You're going to be guided from your universe like, okay, you know, you asked us for the answers. We was given, you know, we gave them to you in divine timing. Now you need to make the choice to move on from this situation. Move on from this relationship, this family. Yeah, with the Ten of Cups here. It's going to be rough for some of you guys, but the answers that you were seeking... It's going to all hit you at the right time. Mm. It's almost like a way, again, it's a wake up call. And yeah, this could be a fire sign. What is stop? Tell me about stop for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And of course, everyone, take what resonates with you, leave the rest. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. It's like you're going to realize that this was a very toxic connection, that you guys are not on the same page, that you're needing to move on from this individual, okay? Clarify and stop. Thank you. Yeah, I cannot make this up, y'all. Ace of Swords, I'm telling you, Spirit is giving you the aha moment, the breakthrough that you've been seeking. The clarity that you've been seeking about a particular individual here who's cheating, who's lying, being sneaky, who's being cunning towards you, that you cannot trust this Knight of Wands energy. So that's two Ace of Swords energy here. Yeah. Tell me more about stop. You will get all the answers that you need in divine timing. Yep. Yeah. Your ancestors, the universe is going to provide everything to you. 
Wow. This is the spirit realm saying, baby, this ain't it. Sir, ma'am, you need to surrender this. Let it go. This is not the man for you. It's toxic. They're toxic. This is not the one. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's like with this Queen of Cups. This is like there's no need to get emotional about it. You ask for the answers for it. So now close that cup. Put that love that you were given to this individual back into yourself. So you're this Queen of Cups. Yeah. Because if you allow yourself to get emotional and go crazy, all it's going to do is give you some type of mental imprisonment, almost like making you feel like you're the victim when keep in mind, you're no victim to anything. The answers are coming to you. Make your choice. Move, move around. You know? Follow your intuition. Let it go. Mm-hmm. At this point, all you can do is work on yourself, continue to put the effort and energy into yourself and take this time to rest, you know, rest your energy, you know, spend some time alone, reflect over everything that you experienced with this person from the past. This is like a time to, when this time comes, when you get this wake up call or this aha moment, it's like a reflection. It's almost like you're going to be reflecting over everything that was said, everything that was done, you know. The arguments, the smart mouth, the smart remarks, the conflicts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's best to just pull back. Stay in your power. Keep in mind there's nothing wrong with you. Connect to your higher self. And at this moment, this is a new chapter for you. You have the emotional clarity that you need to actually move on from the situation. Because there's something bigger and better out here for you. You know? New blessings, new beginnings. Continue to manifest. You know, it takes one day at a time. Just know when you move forward, when you are moving into another relationship, make sure you pay attention to your intuition, the red flags, the signs. Yeah, just make sure you move forward. Because it looks like you're about to get another relationship or you guys are walking into a situation where you're about to meet your twin flame. It's almost like rewriting a story. And yeah, we got someone here that is like, damn it, I messed up. Everything came full circle. There's nothing else. It's completed. This chapter is completed. You know, now they're crying and worried and having nightmares and anxiety that they messed up. Yeah, they sabotage this relationship with their actions. Yeah. Wow. I feel like this, it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or fire sign but this person may try to come back around again after they have sabotaged everything like trying to make up but i feel like you're not going to know how to feel about this yeah you may end up still blocking this individual because you've already got the answers that you seek from the universe yeah they're gonna try they're gonna try to come back they're gonna try to come back but always remember the lessons the answers that you receive. That spirit is already showing you, hey, this person is not for your highest good. They still got some work to do and they're coming out as a night energy, water sign or fire sign, that yes, they have been lying to you. Yes, they have been cheating. Yes, they've been deceptive behind your back. These answers are coming from your spirit team. Giving you all the clarity and the answers that you've been asking for. Yeah. They have been trying to make you compete for them. They haven't been honest with you. Yeah. All right, Scorps. So this is what I have. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.